So there is a rumor in the office that Andy is gay. Then he finds his colleague who is gay and asks him, did you hear? And the guy says, yes. And then he asks him, so? So what? Do you think I'm gay? So he asks the guy if he is gay. Are you attracted to other men? No. But if a Brad Pitt was, you know, somewhere in the dressing room and wanted to kiss me, I'm not sure. I would resist a bit, but I don't know how it, how it would go, you know. Holy who is gay says, I definitely want comfort heterosexual males who are insecure about their sexuality. I mean, so he's looking for the information from the outside world to tell him something about his basic identity. And this is very often in obsessive compulsive disorder. So, so caviar in this sense, beluga caviar, huso huso caviar, something that is the most precious regular dish in the world would be identity. Having clear sense of identity without this pathological doubt that leads to this pathological testing of different scenarios. So he's looking at the man, uh, observing men, asking other people, testing all the time, thinking about uh, different situations and so on. Gathering evidence for something that is part of his identity, something that is information he could should, he look for within. And second, I would say, Sevruga caviar, not so important, is to have clear thought process. His thought process is uh, just wrong. He's testing irrelevant data as if it might be true. You can go uh, to the doctors and test each of 400 moles on your skin. But then you can test everything. So there is no discrimination with, be, between that is real and it is, what is hypothetical. It's fiction. So it's reality constructed. You're not using your mind on reality pro problems, but hypothetical problems, practically insignificant probability that can be infinite number of those tests. It's wasting your energy and time.